The overshift is on. And Bassett deals. And Bonds hits one home. So there's a couple factors in hitting with a wood bat versus an aluminum bat. Obviously, there are different rules at different leagues. So in the major leagues, you have to use a wood bat as part of major league rules. Whereas in college, high school and such, you're allowed to use aluminum bats. When you're actually hitting, it's what works best for you. You want to, if you can, swing the heaviest bat as fast as you possibly can. Which is why back in the day, Babe Ruth could hit home runs with an extremely long, heavy bat. Whereas in modern day, batters will use very light, skinny bats that they can swing very fast. That's whatever they're used to and prefer. Once people started making aluminum bats, the advantage they have is they're stronger at a lower weight. So they don't have to weigh as much, so it's easier to swing them faster, but they're stronger, so they hold up. But also, they have something called the trampoline effect. Because the bat is basically hollow, when the ball hits the bat, it's going to both compress the ball, but compress the bat. And when the bat springs back, it's launching the ball with a little extra force. There's more spring in a metal bat, do it better that way, than there is in a wood bat. So both of those things allow you to get a little bit extra bounce from a metal bat aluminum bat than a wooden bat. Typically when someone throws a baseball, right, they throw with an overhand motion and release the ball and it'll rotate in this fashion. But if a pitcher wants to have the trajectory of the ball be different, what they can do is to grip the ball like so. And when they release the ball, snap it forward so that the rotation, instead of being backwards, is forward, tumbling over itself. So there's a fundamental principle of physics called Bernoulli's principle, which says uh, wherever the relative velocity of a fluid passing over a surface is greatest, the pressure drops. Okay, The faster you move past the fluid, the, the lower the pressure. And so the pressure on the top of the baseball is less than on the bottom of the baseball. So the air gets deflected upward, and Newton's third law says every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if the air is being deflected upward, the ball has to be deflected down. So relative to where a fastball would be going, a curveball is going to drop. So the idea is the hitter sees the ball coming and they're going to swing in such a way anticipating that the ball is going to fly in a fastball trajectory and instead it drops and misses the bat. And the variation on that is instead of snapping this way, you can snap the ball sideways and give it a sideways spin, okay? And then the same thing applies. The air is deflected in one direction and therefore the ball is deflected the opposite way. And that's called a slider. It dives across the plate and sort of all of the various pitches are variations on that, getting the ball to spin in different ways. When baseball was first invented, initially the least important position in all baseball was the pitcher. The pitcher's job was to sort of lob the ball in and let the batter hit it. And the batter could just stand there forever until they got the pitch they wanted. And slowly things evolved away from that, uh, where the pitcher would try to throw the ball hard and, and get the ball past the batter. And so Candy Cummings was a pitcher who, uh, when he was a kid, he would actually throw clamshells at the beach. And he noticed that if he snapped them in a certain way, he could make them curve. And he thought, oh, I wonder if I could do that with a baseball. So then 10 years later, he, he's a pitcher in college and he had devised and perfected this new pitch. He kept it to himself for a time, but eventually people figured out that this, this pitch was moving differently from how a fastball would, and it was considered by a lot of people cheating initially. The game has come a long way from there where, where that's a sort of standard thing in baseball, but it was a very disruptive technology initially. Yeah.